nataka nieleze na huyo huyo wakati tulisikia kuna hiyo nyoka imefariki Yesu akaniambia wakati nilikwambia maana mambo ya kiroho ni mambo ni siri kubwa sana ndio wale watu ambao mnauliza hii mambo kwani inaenda namna gani fungueni macho injili imeenda mbali kile mkuona mtakiona kile nitafanya chote kiko kwa Biblia kutoka tu nyoka ikafariki na Mungu akaniambia hiyo huyo nyoka huyo nyoka nimemuua nimempil na kitu kiko mbali sana ili kushughulika Mungu aliendelea kuongea na mimi mambo mengine mwacha uone huyo nyoka alipochukuliwa sijui nini aliletwe na Herodes pale ambapo tuliambiwa nyoka imetoka Mombasa imeenda Kisumu alafu kichwa yake imerudi na Herodes ililetwa kwa msia hiyo kitu mnaweka hapo in the name of munaifadhi it is a nauta that has to be dealt with and i believe a day is going to dawn hiyo kitu yondolewe kuna wanyama wazuri na wambaya hiyo haikuwa ya kawaida kulingana na historia yake kwa cheni mambo ya kuelewa tu kisayansi wana sayansi kile amkuona mtakiona Now nataka muangalie historia ya Omeri. Omeri ili infadhiwa under for 30 years Mr President. Ni kweli si kweli. Wakati hadi sheki imefanywa na vituko kama hizo Mr President nataka ufungua macho. Nataka kufungua watu macho. Ndio Omeri kumetengenezwa sherehe kubwa sana. Na akapelekwa kisumu siku tano maana ni angano na ni madhabahu maana ilikuwa ni hiyo sherehe iende ifanywe maana tunaelekea rais wa tano kutawala ile matabiko ilifanywa ninaijua because invisible and visible in other words kila mwanadamu awashe kuona Mungu anaona kwa hivyo yale waabudua wa shetani mnafanyianga tena mnafanyia hii bahari ya Mungu mito ya Mungu miti ya Mungu anga ya Mungu ndio nilisema namna gani mtu anaye mdharau Mungu anasema maji tukiiona ni makoncho astahili kukanyanga dunia Mungu aliyeumba aende kuzimu alipokuwa hakuna alitengeneza barabara aishi huko na maana najua umefunga misigo nataka kukuonyesha 2207 ali 2010 tutoke kwa mambo ya nyoka ni kweli si kweli sherehe ilifanywa kubwa Omeri akaletwa pale na akaambiwa arudishwe tena na Arobi. <laughs> na kuna ile ingine. Hiyo ile ya kuzimu ikienda nayo hiyo ingine. Sikia, runinga zitasema tu na niliwaambia you don't call me. I I I I do all oh, this is Mr. Carlos this is like the SKM command center. Hii ni kama hiyo na saidi ya hiyo. Hii hata ni hadi kuota mtoto wa Mungu. Na ni momba Inaweza kwenda anywhere. Na ndio watu wa news mlikuwa kwa naambia hiyo ujumbe ameandika mahali hakuna I'm the news, I'm the message. Kwa hivyo wakati wa 207. Sungwa I mean 2010 katiba ikipitishwa kanisa ilisema no maana kuna mambo ilikuwa mbali. Na ndio nakuta hiyo nyoka imesema hivi, ni juzi ilisema. Inasema namna hii. Inasema hivi, eh? Inasema namna hii. Kwamba Kenya ni secular country kwamba inatambua religion zote na kwa muda mrefu sikieni tuwaambie all the other religions live to know na hiyo sio babusi hata wakati Abraham alifika angawanye mali yake kwa watoto wake Biblia inasema alimuita Isaka I mean alimuita Ishmaeli ambaye ndiye waislamu umetoka pale msiaza msiaza kuchanganya mambo na madhiono mingi And you need some Jesus told me not to complicate matters. Na watoto wa Ketura yule mimi ya tatu ya Abraham akawapatia sawadi na akawaambia enda ni mbali sana. Mkaishi mbali na mtoto wangu. Na lakini maandiko yanasema urithi wote wa Abraham alipatia mtoto wake. Lazima mkubali yaishe. Wale watu wote mko Kenya. All the other religions Christianity is the main is the main Christian sijui ni ongan sijui ni nini na there is no debate about that and mbaka Yesu wakuje 
take it at me. Even it is going to be declared that Kenya is a Christian state religion. Na amini, kile tulikuwa tunasema katiba, no. Nilisema katiba, it is due to be amended. Hii ya BBA, ilitoa nyoka. Na kweli, ni building bridges. Munataka kuwa na fasi ya yesu. You could not have made it. Na hata sijui kwa nini umjalante ya duwe. Mr. President, uli tumia pesa zote. Pesa zile sinawaza tumiwa. Na hata kura sikapiwa wa county government. Lakini, mungu kwa miujisa yake. Ikiwa nchudisha ni naongoso na wamama. Wakaenda wakailete chini. Maratatu. The three legged like stool is in being a, a million in counter. Ndiyo niluamia that stool. Hata kalonzo wakati ulikuwa na hapisho na kina mudu. Mutisha maremu. Chuli katisho yu stool. He? Ha ha ha. Well. Nini? Etamini muache mama ya shau shatani. Sikia sasa. Hii chumba jyo ilikuwa ya kanisa. Ama katiba no. Na muka danga nyana. Mana ni mulikuwa na system. Na munga kasema wacha tu. Wacha tu. Nina wangoja siku yenu na kuja. Now 12 years down the line. Kalonzo na wakamba kutoka wakatiwa. Umeishi shida kubwa. Hebu sikia. Iki ndiyo nitafanya leo. Maana yale mavasi ya uongo. Unajua shetani wakati anakuja kwa njia kama malaika wa nuru. Hmm? Unakuja kwa njia ya mambo ya ati unapatanisha. Azimio na umoja. Ni azimio na umoja gani. Nita waonyesha hapa ni uambie. Iyo kulingana na vile mungu amekuwa kiniambia na tukikana na tukizumunuza. Tunaongea wa ananiambia pala. Iyo sidangani. This one is from uh, sio from me. Nita waonyesha hapa. Vile kenduendelea. Sasa nataka kwanza kabla ya mambo mengi. Nerudishe kabila yangu kwa mungu. Aje. Ii chungwa. Ni ya ukambani. Wakama ni kweli machungwa huwa inanunduwa pesa mbaya kabisa. Mana utajiru limezwa na ile dragon, na ile nyoka. Lakini leo ata itapika. Vile songo. Unajua songo is a great man in Kambalans. It's a great man. The man is generous. Ata kama kona kutinezezi mingi aji. The man is good. Na Mr. Songo. Nangotia upige simu kuansia leo. Nilikuwa kwako. Nimekuwa na uko na mtu mzuri anaitwa kivuva. That man. Mana ma viongozi wengine wenu labda wewe si mbaya lakini the PA wale umechagua ndio wanawaadhibu kabisa wanaweka hivi unakuta wewe kufikiwa Kivuva songo na mshua ni mfanyikazi wako the man i recommended him i have even blessed him kwa simu namwambia hata wewe usipo mpromote Mungu ampromote maana nikimtumia text ninamwambia hivi na hivi the man is good Na ananiambia kuko hivi na muambia wacha tuendelea kuomba. Songo you have made the right decision. Your Excellency, Deputy William Samuel Ruto. I told you, my ingression is a final. Even in the last minute. Alfred Mutua, nilimekuja kwako. Pia wako, pia akona mashida yake. Watu wale wengine wana shida. Na watu wana nichua. You did the right thing. Wakuwete sungura, wakuambia kuna shida njami, wachana na wao. You are a great man in this land. Mutha manisikia pala unanisikia. Nilikuja kwako, katu likuwa na matanga. Nika kuambia pole. Mana shungli silikuwa mingi sijarudi. Ninasema na mna gani? Time has come. Time has come. A house that is divided. I was kusimama. Mambo ya kusema, siwezi fanya kasi na mutua. Na ya mutua, uyo alifanya. Iyo mambo kwa saa hii, we are on a mission. To achieve the kingdom, we take the kingdom. Mambo inini to take over and bad. Nani nataka pia kukuona? I have a lot. I'm talking. Kutoka katika. And quarter samu. What I know you don't know. I know there are things which you know of this world, but I know what I know you don't know. And for now, I'm taking charge. In the realm of the spirit in the Kabbalah, I say. True priest. For now, Mr. Kalonso, utaniruhusu kwanza, kaa kando, niregeshe. Niregeshe mkamba nyumbani. Na mna gani? Hii chungwa wani ule register wa kwanza. Hili chukuliwa, sasa kuansia leo nataka muangalie. The ODM movement. Mna atumia chungwa. Hii chungwa si kutuwa kwenu, nimetuwa huko kwetu na kuwenu. This is how I do my things. Because the way of the cross is 
nonsense and, uh, and uh, foolishness to them that are, 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 are doing what are perishing. Nataka uniambi. Sasa nataka nilisema ukusani virago kutoka jana. I want you to go where you belong. Sasa nataka nukufue manguo. Ile ya kikristo unajifanyanga unabaa. Na umweshimu mungu. Na unasema unachua mimi. Siku usi. Si, siku nini. Siku nilikuwa. Oa huku wa mistaken. Ndiyo nilikuwa tabia. You are just like that. Kwa hivyo ninataka uangalie. Vile ninachambua hii chungwa. Hivyo ndiyo ninatoa nguo. Sili zako zote. Sili simefichwa. Zote. Hivyo unangalia vizuri. Hii kisu na hiyo kwa nini. Kwa nini special. Ni kisu hile tunakatanga sukuma hapa. Lakini saa hii ni meyombea. Na hii kisu naitumia kama neno la mungu. Mana neno la mungu ni upanga ukatao kuwili. Saa hii wacha ni kutoe nguo kwanza. Utambati peke yako. You will be left alone. Wakati wa wana wa Israeli, pale Kings 18, walipo wana moto umeshuka. Walipo wana moto umeshuka. Sikia ni kuambia vizuri. Eh, walipo wana moto umeshuka. Mana walikuwa na kanyanga pande ina pande ii. Ibilia nasema walijauka wakasema, Jehovah ndiye mungu, Jehovah ndiye mungu. Nasema katika taiva la Kenya. Nataka wangalia kitungina kifanya kiunambi. Kwa hivyo wakati nikuwa tunahono na tembeo nilikuwa nchoo. Nilikuwa nchoo. Na fanyanga vitu zangu hivyo. Mimi siya mundu wa mtuki. Mamba yangu ni raisi tu. Jesus is not complicated. Nataka wangalia. Vile ulikuwa umefunika. Unayambi bidia nasema hivi. Ama watu. Esaia. Sana nataka mnisikiza. Wale mna nitazama. Esaia 4222 nasema. Ama ni watu. Wamekamatwa. Na wamefungiwa mahali. Na wamewepo kwa mashimo. Unajua nyoka inakaka kwa shimo? Ha? You are there? Wana, wana kamato, wana kaka kwa mashimo. Fila kalonso. Uli kamato kawepo kwa shimo. Unazikika tena. Eh? Sikisa. Hata hii shine ya tina. Si unawana sasa. Kitu anyoka lazima hiwe kubwa. Hiyo shine ni ya kutoka kuzimu. Mutula kalonso ni pigia shimo. After four days, usipa piga. Minta vanya kasili yangu. Ni pigia shimo. Hiyo shine. Tunataka nikaa chini na wewe ni kuambie tuja, kuna mambo nataka tujadiliane. Pia wako ni mang'aa sana. Ananijiba rudili mtu ambaye napigiwa simu kutoka nje. Eh, na watu wako na heshima hata katika serikali kuu. Alafu like, pia wako ni so rude. Pale unanisikia pia ngwa mtule Kelonso. You are so rude and so arrogant. Ana unaona unaitwa Nicholas. Hata huko heshima hiyo chini unaitaishwa na mimi. Take care. Kama land, kama community aitaenda kuangamia. Nataka unisikia. Nimetoa sasa. Pala wakamba mulifungi waki kiunambi. Nime wa, nimetoa. Nimetoa hiyo mkua. Pala ni sasa nimewatoa. Na alamu mbibilia na rudi na niambia. Mungu amenepatia uweso wa kukula milima. Wakamba pale mulifungi wa. Ile nyungu. Hii chumba ilipo enda kule. Muliusu wa kule. Nina watoa kule. Kalozo kumbuka. Imagine the other day. Mimi kalozo wa ipiti juu. Unakuta unaambiwa. Ukitaka kuingia azimeo. Unaambiwa subscribe. What kind of a mocker? A great man like you. Iyo siku uliambiwa hivu. Nilikuwa karibu kugonga runinga. Na nangumiyama. Because you are my brother. Peundu toilenye mwano. Peundu toilenye. Nuka eti kile. Ukwe kikuche mwe. Usikubali nilikuambia. I told you. Soft in your heart. Kuna kitu ya mungu. Nilisema. Mimi nimetuma. Maandiko nasema. Mutumishi wangu nitakaya mutuma Hata ule utami unatua mwishi ya tazima Kalonso you can make it to your destiny You are a great man God is transforming this nation It is not only about Kenya Kuwa the chief minister wa Kenya No, Africa Kwanza wewe kasi yako mingi ni ya kuenda matawe ya inche Na unuki wa metuma Unajua mutawe mungu Mungu toko na captain mzuri sana A very ma I mean Na unajua wacheni wambia Imefika mahali Anybody to fight for presence. Katiba kibandilisho ni tapeleka msuata mungini. Lazima kwanza aende atolewa CV o civilian. Aende kingancho atreiniwe. Ili, iyo ikuwe require na mendi moja. In Israel, you cannot condense for the prime minister seat. Kama wewe, au jakuwa mwana soja. Why? You should be the person in charge of the battle. Ata kama nini. Because you are the captain of the army. And that is why Mr. President Uru Kinyata. I agree. Nani nakuelewa. Maana, ulikuwa mtoto wa raisi, umekulia pale, mambo mengi ya ujuni. Iyo naelewa. Nandi unakuta, ninaweka some lightness kwako, ninakuambia ukweli, lakini ninakuambia, I still need your reaction, ambayo ni very positive. You are not late. Now I tell you the truth. Mimi, what God has told me, if you agree, the word of God will enter you. Man, 
Mr. Uru Kenyatta, you are yet to be exalted and lifted and serve God. Hii mambo ingine yote, hata wale wengine mko na mambo mambo hivi nyote msiwe na shida, nitasota uti hiyo. Tabwa na kana mtu anamwambia fanya hivi, kale kama dhabahu kwa fulani, wacha tuharibu, sasa mshike Mungu. Kwa hivyo hiyo sio the agenda saa hii. Not at all. Nasema namna gani? Sasa niangalie vizuri. Kuanzia leo tuliambiwa na Yesu, mnapoenda inge na nyoka chini yenu. Hiyo ni ya kwanza. Ya pili, wakamba pale mlipelekwa na mkafungiwa, si mnaona nimetoa nguo, nimewatoa pale. Mna kwa mashimo na ile jela mliwekwa. Saa hii nataka Biblia nasema nimepewa, nimepewa meno makali ya kukula milima. Kuja hapa, kuja hapa mtoto wangu, kuja hapa. Nataka tukule hii milima. Nataka turudishe wakoa nini? Huyu anaitwa King 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 Lao from the tribe of Judah. Na ndio mnaona hata the chosen verse anatoka Uda. Yaani Judah. Sema Uda Judah. Uda Judah. Uda Judah. Joshua alikuwa anatoka hapo. Ndio wakati mnasema ati ni alienda uh, prophetess wa uongo unaitwa Sam unasema wakati ati alienda kule wewe nini weli ni wao akashika mbona alimamba peke yake alimrudisha. Mamba tu. Eh? Mamba tu inaoneka hiyo ndio ilikuwa evidence kwamba ni nguo anatoa na ndio nimemtoa nguo. Wale wote mtaona kuanzia leo. Mtaona vitu zimechipuka kama hiyo nimeweka. Mnakuja kuiona. Kwa hivyo huyu anaitangwa Caleb my son. Anaitwa King Lao. Kuanzia leo Kenya it experience such a love. Huyu Kenyata ule upendo ulikuwa nao na you are deputy. We and my at that. And that was the plan of God. So get it from me. Mzoe William Dr. Samuel Ruto my friend. You fight him you are fighting God. The dragon niliambiwa nimuweke ulinzi. Trust me. Hata wale maskari mko na his excellence sio nyinyi mnaweka ulinzi. Ile nimekamata anga yote. Ngoja utaona. Mashan, tukule. Uh, kuja hapo mke wangu. Biblia nasema tumepewa tumepewa kukula milima. Meno ya kukula milima. Uh, kuja tu, kujeni tukule milima wakituangalia. Mm? Mnakuwa m- uh, shika hapa msichana wangu. Yeye ndiye kwa, kwa kamera. Eh, imekatanisha mara nne. Sasa yale maufalme yamekuwa ya ine ambayo mlimesa wakamba na mkawatumia vibaya hata mlitotoa ngema na mnajuanga sisi ndio mapisi. Na ndio sababu mambo yameenda vibaya. Mlipotoa, mlipotoa, mlipotoa wakamba kwa ngema, eh? Mlifikiria mambo yataenda vizuri. We are the life rights of this nation. Neno la Mungu liliingililia mali hapa. Kisho yangu nyao ndio alipandisha bendera pale. Na hata mimi ndio Mungu aliniambia ninunue bendera. Nataka uangalie tangu watu waanze kuombea hili taifa kuna peace caravans nyingi zimefanywa na Mungu alileta ishara kwenu na ndio nilikuwa nawaambia Isaia nane kumi inasema namna gani niangalie mimi na watoto wangu niangalie vizuri hii bendera si kununua tu Mungu aliniambia namna gani Isaia 62:10 inua bendera katika inchi kwa hivyo siku hiyo niliteremsha bendera zote sama pepo sama shetani nataka uangalie sasa wakamba kuanzia siku ya leo ule utamu wenu ulienda na ukapelekwa na huko ukameswa ule utajiri ulimeswa kulingana na neno la Mungu maandiko yanasema namna gani utatapika kwa hiyo yani ule utajiri ule, sasa mimi ni, sasa nimesema prophetically maana nilifinya nili jana niliinyonga jana nilimalishia jana na nikatuma upeo mbaya ikaende ikafanye search na prophetically file my brother Actually, my, my brother, congratulations, Mike Songwa. Unajua wewe, hakuna mtu mwingine anaitwa. Ya wale wengine wameitwa Songwa after you. You are a man, you are and you are. Uko ni mtu na historia yake. Ulipigiwa kura mingi wakati wako na Robi na enemies watu wote. Na vile vizingizio zinatoka kila mahali. Lakini ni dragon inajaribu kukumesa. Nasema namna gani? Hata saa hii kile kimetendeka pale ulikuwa unaenda. Nasema namna gani? Dragon ndio inafanya mambo hiyo. Na hiyo tu ni mkia imekufa. Vile umweli amekufa kwa msia. That is how that thing is. Mike Songo, be strong. Ukienda Mombasa, saidia yule ako pale wa the chosen na una ndio nimesema waislamu wote si wabaya kuna wale waislamu wanajua tuko saa ngapi au waislamu kina Omar kina Muhammad jicho pevu 
Wacha vile nchicho pepu. Nataka nikutane na wewe. I want to challenge you. Nataka nchicho pepu ni kuchallenge. Nataka ni kuchallenge. Wachue hile pepu ya mungu. Ndiye na kuanga kali sana. Macho macho ya wana ni makali sana. Umekua nafanya kasi nzuri. So hile kitu nimekua muna wana munafanya. Waishilomu wote wale wazuri. Iyo mukia sasa aiko. Ni vile wana wanga nyoka inambaki kifanya hili. Kama teni kila mahali. Sasa wacha nirudisha wakamba nyumbani. Mimi ni on the priest wa Mungu na maana kalosa si unajua ile matabiko wa wakamba ulikuwa umekirishwa kwa dhidi hili hadi hadi shuru unapulisiwa mamaziwa unajua vile kuna fanyangwa nilikuwa kwa hiyo so ninasema namna gani alafu yule yule huyo mzee alienda alikuwa anajua kufika pale alikuwa anaitwa Mulu Mutisia Mutisia ni Tisia Kiloki ya hani tele mimi hapa hiki ndo kwa uni niendo pia hata you you ninatunga sasa nimerudisha wakamba nyumbani mimi sasa ndio priest nataka ujue hivyo kalonzo nakutaka kuambia ukweli kila nitaongea leo kitakuwa na impact na effect ukambani you will not reverse it lakini ukija tukae chini na ukamate line vizuri na kuambia vizuri still you are on and your integrity itakanyanga chini na nakwambia hivi ukitaka kukaa mpaka dakika ya mwisho ndio dakika ya mwisho chama cha wiper kitakuwa na the time kita eh, peleka watu mbele wadogo sana na ukiendelea kungumisha moyo another election akitakuwa kinatajwa lakini for now i love you you are my brother umefanya mambo mengi wacha ni ruhusu tu hii dragon hamna uwezo wa kupigana nayo mimi napigana nayo na mnaka oh, unaona tu nimesika kichwa mboga lakini huu ndio upanga wa roho upanga ni neno la Mungu so nasema namna gani in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit ninatangaza prophetically because the spirit of jesus christ is a spirit of prophecy ninarudisha wakamba nyumbani kwa njia ya utakatifu in the name of the lord wakamba what pale mnakaa murudi nyumbani pale mlifungiwa ninawatoa kwa hiyo mashimo ile jela mliwekwa ninawatoa pale matabiko mliyofanywa bila kujua kwanza wakalozo na wale wengine hiyo aibu ambayo tumeishi kuwa nayo humiliation imeisha kuanzia siku ya leo and clear the kamba community kama wakati ni maya alikuja na karegesha makuani nyumbani nina regesha the integrity of the kamba community nyumbani Fila Mike Songo amerudi. You see I love that man is a gentleman energetic. And so fire eh? na Mike Songo move ahead. Na msinga wa msikusanyike mahali pamoja not at all. Hiyo nitaongea sasa hiyo part nyingine. Maana nataka kuambia vile tutatawanyika and we are we have gotten it right and you will get it right. Mimi nitakuwa hapa. I will prophesy every day. Na ndio ninasema namna gani? Mimi ninataka hata ninataka nifike mahali na nataka niletewe video kamera mbili na machines maana nataka hata niongee 24/7 ili ni prove kwamba is... Mungu ambaye anapianaga neema iko neema watu wote wakiwa live wati stream kila dakika nakwambia uzipite hapo uzipite hapo unaonaga kila kitu baba njaribu kwa hivyo nasema namna gani hapo sasa naenda mahali pale pengine Niwaambie vile kasi sasa itafanywa. Wakamba umerudi nyumbani, rudini nyumbani. Kura ni kwa Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Lakini hizi viti za chini, kuna watu najua kidogo sana ambao wako na tumadoa doa hivi, ambao kwanza kama kuna mmoja ni support hapa katika hata hata constituency ya Makueni. Na, na uyu, uyu, so hiyo hiyo tutaongea baadaye. Lakini nasema namna gani? Ninatangaza kwamba wakamba wote rangi yenu ni yellow. Na yellow ni rangi ya rainbow. Na rainbow Mungu alisema nitakapoona hiyo rangi na mawimbi ya maji inakuja, nitakumbuka angano langu. Angano la Mungu na wakamba imerudi kuanzia siku ya leo. Madharau tuliyodharauliwa hatutadharauliwa tena. Watch and the same migration ile itafanyika saa hii ninatuma wale malaika wako in charge ya kuhamisho migration department mwende mkamate akili za wakamba na ile sitara iliwekwa juu yao kafungwa macho ninairua ninaitoa na malaika endeni mwakusanye mwarudishe nyumbani miraculously wacha niendelee hapo mbele ndio leo kile nasema in jesus name <laughs>